Hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens. So, today we are going to look at the Namiki Emperor Nightline by Miki. So here it is. This is the iconic Emperor Nightline. So the first thing to notice about this pen is it's a fairly simple pen with an intricate Raiden design. I say simple, it's simple by the standards of Namiki Empress some of which can have 70 or 80 stages of production. Now you can see the artist's signature here. What you're looking at is a beautiful pen with Raiden design and the Mackier gold work on it. Now if I just unscrew it here, we can have a quick look at the nib. Now the nib is the old Namiki nib the modern ones have the Mount Fuji emblem in two tones for the emperors, in single tone for the 50 size Urushi in vermilion or black. Uh, this is the old school one. A lot of people like this nib design. You can see the artist signature and the Kokokai signature there on the right. And let's talk a little bit about the Raiden. So Raiden is of course the thin inside layer of certain shells. They cut it into shape and they hold it in place with the Urushi and then burnish it. Now, notable thing about the Raiden is the reflection changes strongly depending on the light source and the angle. So you'll see even in this video, I've deliberately made the video recording a little bit brighter so you can see it reflecting better. Um, it changes strongly. So some of the photographs, the, the Raiden will be strongly colorful and other ones it'll be quite dim. Now, in real life, when you move this pen in front of you like I'm doing here, that is beautiful. It shines, it shimmers. It reflects, it's absolutely gorgeous, and actually it's a bit harder to capture that in a still photo like this. So you can see elements of it, but the Raiden is, is one of these things that actually it's best in the flesh. Now a lot of the Macchio pens photograph just as well as they look in real life. This pen it varies, so sometimes like this is lovely, it's reflecting nicely there, but it just varies on the light. So we'll have another look at it here, and just turn it around and you can see so it has two distinct color themes. It has the purple and it has the green parts. So, and then there's a, there's a mixture of the two, but you'll see that two of the patches are strongly purple, two of the patches are strongly green. Uh, and that's a really, really nice effect. I mean, this stuff is expertly cut, expertly, expertly cut and laid out in these beautiful forms. Um, and, and the gold dots, really do a nice job of just framing it. I think if it was just a black pen with that on it, it would feel a little bit like there would be so much contrast between the rest of the pen and the Raiden. But for me, you know, this, well, as you can see here, the end of the Raiden next to the black section, it, it's kind of, it's more of an abrupt difference. Um, but for me, the gold work on it, the gold, the gold dots of the Macchier, gives it a nice wholeness and completeness to the design. Now the Emperor Nightline was released quite a long time ago. There was an Emperor version and then a uh, Yukari Royale version, which is a smaller version. And then more recently they had the Nightline Moonlight version, which is similar, but then with shapes cut out through the vertical sections of, or horizontal in this case, sections of Raiden. And that was also very popular, but as Namiki do, they rotate their various lines out of production. So what happens is you, this is available for sale for a short amount of time. Um, sometimes it's only three years and then they're no longer available. So pens like this suddenly 10, 15 years later become very hard to get hold of. The price rockets on the secondhand market, especially if they haven't been used. I feel very lucky to have been given access to this pen just to have a look at it. Now, I've intentionally not included a writing sample because I'm going to be doing so many Emperor Namiki reviews and it will just repeat, repeat, repeat. So what I'll do is I'll do a dedicated video for how a Namiki Emperor's write with the inked Namiki Emperor that I have. And so every time you see a different review of a different Namiki Emperor, they're going to write the same way. So we can just reference that video instead of repeating the content again and again and again in as many videos of Emperors as I'll be doing. And the good news is that's a lot of videos. So that was the Namiki Emperor Nightline. It, there's less to talk about than there would be in a Macchio pen because the chief feature of this pen is that it's gorgeous because of the Raiden work. And 
that's lovely. It doesn't require as in detailed a look as some of the Machia pens where we might stop and zoom in on certain sections of it and see how one part is done and another part is done. So the Machia emperors are going to get a little bit more time on each pen to discuss the bits of Machia and how they differ and how they work. For this pen, it's just a look at an absolutely gorgeous pen. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe because there are many more videos like this coming imminently on this channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.